The goal of Serve Life is to build a global community by advancing the whole gospel to the whole person. Just as we need community with people around us where we live, we need community with people around the world for our own sake and for the transformation of the world into the kind of place that God has created it for it to be. We like to define Serve Life as a movement. Yes, we are an organization, but we are also an organism, a living movement of God's people, an extension of the church. We want to be in the places of the world that people do not want to go at all and are often neglected. The places where Serve Life is engaging in, uh, you're looking at people who are living in what's called absolute poverty, meaning they're living usually around one dollar a day. Serve Life is about a holistic approach. We're not just about preaching the gospel and letting people go hungry, but we're not just about giving food and not offering hope with our words and our, and our actions. When coupled and fused together, we like to holistically address human need and never neglect the spiritual need that people have for Christ. There are three areas that Serve Life is most passionate about and are three areas of the initiatives that we take. The first is rescuing children who are at risk. These are children who are victims of being trafficked or being forced into working without having the opportunity to go to school as every child should have. Number two, it's restoring hope to those who suffer from poverty and hunger. By starting small business, or often called a micro-enterprise effort, this allows ongoing income to be created from these people and will support a family on an ongoing basis. Thirdly, we are committed to training local leaders and multiplying the church in the regions where we work. We always want to couple what we do in the community with a local church. We desire to do this through training leaders and we have our own training centers and partner with others who are training to equip people and enable people to be in their community the, the, the light and the salt of the gospel. We desire to start churches and to enable churches to be strengthened. What we desire is to embrace the transformation of an entire community, an entire city, and an entire nation. That the values of those places would be the values and the character of the kingdom of God that Jesus came to proclaim. As we enter into communities, whether through establishing a church or a humanitarian project, we will always desire people to know Christ. Through education and economic development initiative, our goal is that people's hope will be restored to the gospel and brought into a local church for their own transformation. As we enter into the world, perhaps with bigger ears and smaller mouths, we listen and we learn, laying our own plans on our own agendas to the side and on the table and seek out those living in a local community and from that culture to find ways to encourage and enable their vision and their capacity to grow to make a greater impact for those who they are serving. I think this is the future of global cross-cultural witnesses and the call of Jesus that he gave to the disciples many years ago is still the same call today as he said in the Gospel of John, as the Father has sent me, so I am sending you. When you step into these places, your first human reaction is, let me get out of here. But when you start seeing through the eyes of Jesus and you start listening with the ears of Jesus, you begin to love these people and, and, your, and your eyes begin to open and your heart opens up and you say these people are loved by God, that Christ died for these people and that they deserve a chance to know and embrace the love of God. Despite a world filled with despair, disease and death, Jesus is calling his church to move out into the world to offer hope and healing. This is being sent in, in not only places where we want to go as human beings, the places that are comfortable and relaxing, but going into the places of the world where no one wants to go, where no feet wants to walk. We must go there and we must live among people and serve and listen and learn. And these are the, often the places filled with the highest degree of heat and war and ethnic hatred and poverty and hunger. True religion is caring for the orphan and the widow. It is being an ambassador, is being salt and light and reconcilers. We are listening, learning, and being transformed as we go. And we are also giving, sharing, and loving. All of this is called the mission of God. And we must rescue the weak and the needy, seek peace, plead the case of the widow, and care for the orphan. More than 2,000 times in the scriptures, the theme of the poor and the oppressed of the world is mentioned.
Christ tells us to do something about them and not just stand by and watch and observe.